Howdy everyone in YouTube land. We've reached the point where we have to test everything. And unfortunately, the original hard drive needs some work done to it. As we saw previously, because I don't have... I gotta, mo I gotta do some 3D models of the uh, rubber bumpers and see if we can't 3D print them or something. I don't know, we'll figure that out. But the other problem is we do not have... I, ha I have no good SCSI hard drives in my collection. Um, I don't know what happened to them all. I think I accidentally gave one away somewhere and, or something. I, you know, it's, it's been so long. I don't remember what's happened to everything, but, um, where I'm at right now though is I only have this one here and I don't know if this one's any good or not. It probably isn't. Um, I'm going to check it here in a minute, but of course, we can use a modern solution like this uh, blue SCSI, but the problem with these is this. Because those LC series machines require these card edge connectors. And that, unfortunately, is not keyed, so who knows which way it goes. But it's not going to go, even if I were to put this in here, it's not going to go in a system like that. It's just, it's not going to work. This is not a solution. Um, you can use it externally, no problem, but it's not a solution for what we're trying to do. Similar issue with the SCSI to SDs. It's, it's the same problem. So the solid state solutions won't work unless there's a card that has the exact same alignment that can be bolted here and then slid right in and snapped in place. But anyway, so we're going to try this because this is the only one that I have left. And I want to do this to see if we can test you know, the hardware functionality and all that before we wrap this video up. So I think I'm going to keep, take the original hard drive and we're going to leave that as a separate video, but, um, this should conclude the, uh, the, the Macintosh TV restoration series. I just we got to get everything in there and we got to get it all tested. So let's check this out and see what we got going on. I just check this one. And unfortunately, same problem. It has a, um, at least this one's a single platter drive. So it'll be easier to work with, but it has the same problem. It has the bumper over here that's just falling apart. So, yep, this one's going to have to go back up. So I've got a pile of these drives that need parts. But, unfortunately, I don't have a working one, so I'm going to have to go steal it from another machine. So I have everything all rigged up for testing. Um, got my keyboard, mouse, all that stuff. Um, I love this mouse. It's optical. Uh, I had to use an external... A SCSI drive here because I don't have an internal drive. I don't have the main drives installed yet, but I want to turn this on and I don't remember if that has anything on it or not. I do not know if that has an OS on it or not. We'll see. Doesn't look like it does. I hear it clicking. Nope, it does not. So, okay, so what I need to do now is I need to, let's see, let me think about this for a minute. I know what I need to do. I need to put the drives in it. So let's uh, turn this off. Let's turn that off. And let's uh, grab up our drives here. Let's grab the floppy drive. We'll do that one first. The question is, did I install this properly? Uh, I don't know. Did I? Oh, there it goes. That's installed. So, let's see if that works. Because one of these discs contains the startup disc for this system, I think. We'll see. Let 
that's turned off right now. In theory, it should spit that disc back out at me because I don't think that's a system disc. Nope, that is not a system disc. Okay, these two, one of these I think is still readable, one of them is not. probably went into 32-bit mode. We'll see. Okay, that disc is not readable. But if I recall, I don't remember it ever being readable, but I'm going to disable the right protect on that one. We might have something. So the floppy drive works. Yay. That's all good. This disc is screwed. So, not surprised. I think I killed that one last spring, I think. I don't remember. Yay, so uh, that works. Now we just got to get the CD-ROM drive all uh, ready to go. Alright, CD-ROM drive is ready. All my stuff is back on it. I'm not going to slide it all the way in because that would be bad while it's powered up. I'm just going to leave it like that. I'm going to wait for this to start all the way up so I can shut it down. Alright, well, it's time to shut this thing down so I can actually... Uh, uh, mount that drive in here. See what I mean? It doesn't. It does not munch the eject gear once everything is uh, aligned right with the glue or not glue. When you remove the glue and then put oil or grease in there, you're so much better. So we're going to shut this down and give her uh, a jog with the CD-ROM drive. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to slide that guy in there. And then... All right, it ejected that. Okay, let's see. Will it work or will it not is the next question to be had. So let's get the office out of here. Well, actually, let's, uh, let's put that disc back in here so nothing happens to it. I need my legacy CD. Where are you? There you are. Try to do this single handedly because I'm holding the camera. Let's move you out of the way. We'll grab you and throw you out of there. Put you off the side. If I can actually, uh, you know. I could, never mind. All right, here we go. Will it work or will it not? Who? There we go. Uh, of course it did, because it just switched to 32-bit mode. When Mac OS does that, it's because it went from 24-bit uh, to 32-bit mode from the... Because this has a copy of System 7.6 on it. Here we go. Here we go. I think we're on to something now. There we go. Yeah, the CD-ROM drive works. Perfect. Perfect, 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 perfect. The floppy disk drive works, and so does the CD-ROM. That is exactly what I'm looking for. Hopefully I don't get any disk errors, but I should be all right. So we know that one works because I got the disk locked now. This one does not work. 
for some reason or another. So let me get it ready and I'm going to format it and see if it throws me an error saying, hey, we got bad sectors. God, that thing's bright. That thing is like blindingly bright. I'm going to have to turn it down. waiting for it to come up because I think that's only a two-speed drive yep I can hear that laser seeking all right I do not know how much RAM is in this thing it may need more RAM Let's see clock is not set yeah I bet Oh my god, this is bright. This needs to come down in brightness. Will it come down in brightness? Yes, it will. That's better. It's not freaking out the camera hard as much anymore. I bring it up a little bit. There we go. That's better. Man, that thing was bright. CRT is still strong, even though it's got some hours on it. Let's see, what do we have here? What are we running? Four megs of RAM. Oh boy, yeah, I need to put some RAM in this bad boy. Well, the good news is we have a functional CD-ROM drive. Let's put the floppy disk in there and format it, see if it'll format. It's going to give me an error and say, hey, you know, it's corrupt. Any day now. It's struggling to read that disk. Yeah, that's what I thought. Initialize. It's corrupt. That classic sound. That disk is likely bad, but we're going to give it a shot and see if it'll format. That's not good. That means it found a bad sector somewhere. It's probably doing a read, write, verify. We'll see. We'll see how this works. Bad sector. Whoa, look at that corruption. That's an interesting bug. Yep, lots of bad sectors. So that disc is no good. What I am curious about though, I'm going to get rid of that. Yeah, we know, we failed. But what I'm curious about is if there's a ring in here. No, it's still clean. Yeah. Chances are this disc probably needs to be hit with a bulk tape eraser. Uh, most likely that disc is just, it needs, it's just done. It needs to hit with a bulk tape eraser and then try it again. But in the meantime, what's this one look like? I don't know if I erased that or what I did. Nope, I did not. That is the original ethernet card ether talk phase two diagnostics blah 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 blah. yeah that's uh okay that that disc has not been touched still original yep that's still original all right so i'm gonna leave that alone um yeah uh right now i can't detect it's not on duh so I think what I'm going to do is call it quits for this video um, because I've got everything tested. It all works. So it's time to start putting it back together. And well, I got to get the hard drive done, but um, I think what I want to do now is in a final installment, I want to clean up the case, 
I want to plug the TV circuitry in when I get the tuner and get the tuner recapped and all that stuff. So that'll be the final part when I get the tuner recapped, get it all tested with the um, audio, video, TV input and all that fun stuff. So yeah, I think when I get the hard drive and all that, we'll finish it up. So in the meantime, um, everything's tested, everything's functional. So thank you for watching. If you have a comment, please feel free to leave one. Hit the like button, the subscribe button, and visit the Discord link below if you want to participate in that. Otherwise, until next time, guys.